Day number four of building what I would call the best case fan case benchmark machine box. Yeah, that, that works. So, so far we have prepared what I would call the base of the box. We have the power supply fitting ready. Uh, we have the side walls ready and we already test fitted the plate where the motherboard is going on. And in between last time and today, the only thing I have done is A, clean the table a bit and B, add this hole here which is just for strength because in the end we are going to have a Nokia P1 on top of that and that's heavy as hell so I wanted to have something that you know prevents the whole thing from cracking that's why we have this one now for today we're going to prepare the motherboard plate this one is going to be mounted just inside of this roughly like that nothing nothing too special however there is there are a few things that are tricky with this so First off, I'm not going to drill, cut or anything uh, that even resembles a I.O. panel. And the reason I'm not doing that is because the motherboard will be mounted in this orientation. Now I could make a hole for the I.O. but I don't, don't need to. Because A, it's going to be mounted exactly once. I'm going to connect one USB to it and I'm done. But I want to avoid having unnecessary holes all over the place that would just annoy me uh, and prevent thus also air from escaping and leaking and that's why we are doing this. Did I forget something? Oh and the GPU I, I need to figure out which one but it's going to be like the smallest one I can find so that no air is, is being blocked by the GPU. The Nokia P1 is going to be mounted in this direction towards me so we have like the fin stack going like this or the, the heatsink going like this for the air to go through the whole thing and out in the front. Now one thing, the P1 ends somewhere here from the, from the height. This is not an issue for 120mm fans where I could like, uh, cut the 120mm hole roughly in the center of the P1. However, once we get to bigger and bigger and bigger fans, uh, this will become an issue. So the 200mm fan, which is going to be really big, is not going to be centered around that P1. And I want to avoid that. I want every fan uh, be as centered as possible to the P1. And I have a really cool trick that I learned back in the day where I built, uh, let's say, a PC on top of just like a wooden plate and then on the wall. These here are regular motherboard spaces. Now the cool thing about these little thing is that you can just stack them. There is nothing preventing you from stacking them up. And the second really cool thing about them is that they are just regular M4 screws. So I can screw in whatever the hell I want, as long as it uses M4 threading. So how we are going to mount this motherboard and combine the mounting with aligning the P, uh, P1 in the middle of the whole thing is stacking an army of motherboard spacers and that whole array of spacers can be mounted into these little things that we have also used to mount the PSU part. So I can hammer this thing into the bottom part and afterwards just create something like that, allowing me to elevate the motherboard as much as I needed to, which is perfect. Okay, so far we have the P1 centered left and right, we have centered it top and down, and now we need to make sure that the whole thing is centered to some degree in, in like the front and, and back of the whole thing. As you might see, I will need to mount the motherboard as much to my side as possible, otherwise this will never be even close to centered. But that's not an issue, I can just push it down and drill the hole somewhere else. This part will actually be really freaking easy because all I need to do is somewhat center the motherboard in this thing and then just mark my screw holes. And that's basically all I need to do. Then drill the holes, clap these little things in there and the motherboard is done. Then I can glue the plate in there and yeah, it's finished. Duh. Anyway, now I can stack, let's say, four of them, which will center the P12 exactly where I need it to be. Now I can already see that 
they do create a slight angle at some point, but this should still work just fine. So let me just find enough of them for me to create like, yeah, four should be plenty. Okay, let's do two. Okay, two will do just fine. This is, will also be to some degree more centered than doing just one. Or if I find the bag where I have all of my uh, motherboard spacers, then I can repair this. But for now, this will do. Now, the only thing left to do for today is glue this thing into here and then screw the whole thing down to be sure that nothing moves, even in the slightest. So let me just splatter these with some more of that glue. And now let's just double check the orientation because I really don't want to screw this one up. So this is the top, is it? Yeah, and this is the bottom. Wow, they all do align to some degree. Wow. So this is the bottom and the bottom will be as much to the PSU side as possible. Is that right? Yeah, that is right. And now let's just add some screws for good measurement. Just to be sure that this never comes apart. Ta-da! Now this is beginning to look strong. Perfect. Ah, oh, what is the next part of the puzzle? I think for today, this is going to be it. We have the bottom base prepared. And for the next time, I think we are going to prepare the rails that are going around this. Uh, we have four of them. And I have a pretty neat way of how to mount the, the, the fan part of all of this. But we are going to see that in the next episode. Now, the only thing I just want to make sure is this does still fit, right? Yes, yes it does. So for the next time we'll prepare the four, let's call them poles or whatever you want to call them, that are going onto each side. And then I think we are almost complete. From there it's just fan mounting and then we can start putting the whole thing together. This is going to be awesome, but hope to see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this one and for the next time, poles and then coming to an end. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.